How to keep your dog safe on a boat ride. Taking your dog on a boat ride can be enjoyable for both you and your pup. However, in order for you both to have a wonderful experience, you need to prepare so that your dog is safe on that boat. This includes understanding what you need to do to keep your dog safe while it is on the boat. With a little bit of preparation and some awareness while on board, you and your dog can have a wonderful time floating the day away. Part 1. Preparing for a Boat Ride 1. Train your dog to respond to commands If you want to bring your dog on a boat trip, it's important that you are able to control your dog's behavior while on board. This means that the dog needs come when called and that it does not ignore your commands. Only taking a well-trained dog on a boat is a matter of safety. To keep a dog safe while boating you need to direct its actions so that it does not get into trouble or get injured accidentally. 2. Make sure your dog can swim. Your dog doesn't need to be an amazing swimmer to enjoy a day on a boat. However, it should be able to doggy paddle and stay afloat to ensure that it can stay survive in an emergency. Teaching your dog to swim starts with introducing it to water. Ideally, this would happen early in the dog's life, so that it can be trained to swim early. Even with a life jacket on, your dog will need to know how to paddle a little bit to stay afloat and to get to shore safely. If your dog is not a good swimmer, at least make it practice with its life jacket on before going on a boat trip. This can be done by taking the dog to a doggy pool or practicing in the bathtub if you have a small dog. Not all dogs can stay afloat, safely swim, or even like to swim. For example, bulldogs, pugs, and dachshunds aren't known for their love of the water. If you choose to take a dog who can't swim out on a boat, you need to be very, very cautious with its safety. The best option is is make sure that your dog can at least keep itself afloat. 3. Acclimate your dog to a life jacket. Your dog may be a little uncomfortable with its life jacket at first. In order to work through this, you should make it wear the jacket repeatedly so it gets used to the jacket. Try the life jacket on a few weeks ahead of your trip so that you have time to acclimate your dog to it if the pup doesn't like the jacket right away. Before taking the dog on a boat, put the life jacket on the dog at home repeatedly for short periods of time. Make the process fun for the dog. Do a fun activity while the dog has the jacket on, for instance, throwing the ball for your dog while it is wearing the life jacket. If the dog is doing well with the life jacket on, give it a treat to reinforce its good behavior. 4. Make an emergency kit Before you take your dog on a boat trip, you should make sure you have the supplies you may need in case of emergency. These include the usual supplies included in a first aid kit, as well as some dog-specific supplies. These include First, aid book for pets Emergency phone numbers General information about your pet, vaccination status, important medical records, current photo Leash Self, cling bandages, clings to itself, not to fur Muzzle or piece of cloth to prevent biting. 5. Gather important supplies. You will need to bring a variety of supplies with you on board so that you and your dog have a pleasant and easy boat ride. These include fresh water, leash, collar, life jacket, identification, such as up, to, date tags on its collar. Emergency Kit 6. Apply Sunscreen Water is not the only hazard your dog will face on a boating trip. Dogs can easily get sunburned if they are out in the sun too long. To avoid this, apply sunscreen on the areas of exposed skin on your dog. Follow the directions on the packaging to know how far ahead to apply it. Buy special sunscreen for your pet at a pet supply store. 
Pet sunscreens don't have papa or zinc in them, as these can be harmful if ingested. Sunscreen should be applied to your dog's belly and inner thighs, as well as its nose, ears, and any bald spots or exposed areas of skin. 7. Plan for a short first trip. Don't assume that your dog will love boating and will easily spend a long time on the boat on its first outing. Instead, begin with a short trip that is for the purpose of introducing your dog to boating. Like most new experiences, your dog may take some time to acclimate. Just because it is nervous or scared on its first boating trip, that doesn't mean that it will always be that way. With a kind and gradual approach, your dog may become an avid boater over time. Part 2 Taking Your Dog on a Safe Boat Ride 1. Put Your Dog's Life Jacket On Whether your dog will be swimming around like a fish or will never touch the water with its paws, having a life jacket on your dog while boating is important. This means that you should keep it on the dog from the start of the ride to the finish. Even if your dog is a strong swimmer, it may benefit from a life jacket. Strong currents and long periods of time swimming can even wear out a dog that is a great swimmer. The life jacket is just a smart level of protection in case of emergency. 2. Make sure the dog can get on and off the boat safely. Large dogs that you can't pick up may need a ramp to get onto your boat. There is no need to risk your dog's safety as it gets on and off the boat when you can easily supply a ramp to give it easy access. The ramp can also be used to help the dog get back on board if it gets off the boat to go in the water or onto the beach. 3. Let your dog explore the boat before you leave dock. In order to get your dog used to the boat, you should let it explore and sniff all around the boat. With the dog on leash, lead it all over the boat so that it gets a general understanding of the space. This will help to ease the stress of being stuck in a new space. 4. Supervise your dog at all times. Just because your dog is having a good time, is calm, and is a proficient swimmer, that doesn't mean that you don't have to keep an eye on it. Boating can present a variety of unforeseen hazards for your dog, from propellers to dangerous chemicals, so it's your job to keep an eye out for them. For example, keep your dog on leash when you start the boat. Also, don't allow your dog to wander around the boat unsupervised, so that your dog doesn't get into a chemical it shouldn't. Even a strong dog can slide off a boat due to unexpected boat movement. Keep an eye out on your dog, and if you see it go somewhere it shouldn't, redirect it. 5. Give your dog access to shade. Your dog should not have to stay in the sun all day. Access to shade is important for its well-being and for its ability to control its body temperature. Without shade, your dog could get overheated and potentially get heat stroke. Dogs don't sweat like humans do, so they need other ways to regulate their body temperature. One way they can do this is to get out of the sun. 6. Supply fresh water. You should give your dog a bowl of water on board the boat so that it does not get dehydrated. This is especially important on a hot or windy day as dehydration can occur quickly under these conditions. Don't encourage your dog to drink from the water you are boating in. You do not know the purity of the water and many times, even if you are boating in fresh water, that water can make your dog sick. 7. Give your dog a bathroom break. If your dog won't go to the bathroom on a wee, wee pad on the boat, you will need to give it a break on land to do its business. This is important for housebroken pets, as they need to be able to go to the bathroom on a regular basis, 